Hello and welcome to the video. This is going to be a short flight in a Boeing 737 to Dublin on Eurofly. I did just do a flight on FSX with it's your plane to Cardiff. Unfortunately, um, I turned the um, boost up on my microphone and it distorted quite a bit on the recording so I didn't think it was good enough to upload. I was going to do the flight again but it takes quite a bit of time so I thought I'll just do something shorter on Eurofly um, just for a bit of enjoyment and then um, we will have um, an FSX flight on Friday night, which is when I have loading the, North um, America. When I have the stream planned for with the Dassault Falcon, where we're going to go to Portugal. So Menu. let's at least try and do this. Like I say, it's not going to be as realistic as it would with FSX, but um, I don't want to have to do the whole flight to Cardiff again because it does take about an hour or more um, with all the checklists and everything that I, I have to do with IYK. Loading South America. Task. Free flying. One. Okay. Beach. Be Let's go to the 737. Boeing 720. Bo Boeing 737 mod. Boeing 737. East mid. Loading Australia. Oops. Okay, so the, uh, we're going to go in there default 737. Loading Antarctica. Conveniently already in East Midlands. Europe, Set UK, frequency. England, North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So we are in East Midlands. Let's just close the doors first. New 120.3. Get our frequency. Enter one, two, two, zero. Zero. One hundred two, two, eight, one, eight, one, two, five. Eight, two, eight, one, five. Identification five. confirmed. Right. Let's um, control F8. England, Isle of Man, Ireland, Dublin. Dublin. Three hundred and thirty-seven kilometers seventy-seven left. 23 minutes. Okay, destination, destination set. set. So we're not going to need much fuel. End Let's just one. try putting 1,000 uh, litres. Going into the properties. Scroll down and see. Break. Landing the belt. Audio. The, the door. Current fuel level. Current range. Current range. 305 kilometres. Oh, 305. Well, we need a bit more than that. 337. Yeah, 337 to Dublin. So let's add Enter the maybe another... Fuel. 500. Five. Zero. Zero. And then let's Airport. check our range. Tick land. You current range. 444 kilometers. That'll do. Um, I'll just add another 200 to be Zero. safe. Zero. Right, that's good enough. We'll open the doors with Control R and board the passengers with Control W. Okay, let's start the engines once the passengers are on. Um, just so you can hear it. So yeah, I apologise that the FSX um, video didn't turn out, which was a shame because it was a very good flight. It was um, a textbook flight. And you may have noticed, um, if you are sighted, that you can probably just see the word Euro fly on the screen. This simulator doesn't 126. have... Okay, close the doors. Um, this simulator doesn't have any video. But um, FSX does, and um, so hopefully you'll have video on there now if you can see it. Right, let's start the engines. Page up and page down. Ready. Right, the engines are on. 61. Oh, I need to turn them up actually. Keep turning them up because they will turn right down. 89. Probably for the uh, stream we did. 93. On uh, Saturday with the A320. 100. Right, flaps with control left. Done. We'll get them going out. And we will request clearance with F1. Let's 737. All runways are currently in use. Please try again in a moment. If I had a bit more time, I would do the flight back as well. But because of the fact that I did that FSX flight, um, I'm just going to do it this way where I just do... Uh, where I just do the the one flight today. SK seven three seven SK seven three seven, you are clear to take off from the runway. One. Okay, brakes off, let's accelerate. Off. And let's get to our runway. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Control B to get the seatbelts on and the seatbelt signs. Done. Okay. Right, there's one. Pull back on the throttle. Just bring it to a stop. 
control right arrows to turn onto the runway which is on our right side to check our current takeoff speed which should be quite low. Current takeoff speed 238 kilometers. 238, we've got clearance, flying full power, let's go. Okay, keep checking our speed. We need to rotate at some point in the takeoff. Okay, past 100 kilometers per hour. 127, 143, 158, 173, 100, Okay, as soon as it gets to 200, right, rotating, pulling down. That's good. Airborne, as you can see. SK 737, going up, Gear up, speed. 235, we'll increase it a little bit, we're good. Off. Take off, take off successful. SK 737, to 500 and set heading towards so, your destination. Auto nav on, which will keep us on course. Let's increase our power on the engines. Okay. It's going to turn them down a little bit actually. Because they are quite loud as they are. Right, I'm going to just set it to climb to 500 on the autopilot with Alt Z and just put that in there. You might have seen a box there if you can um, see it that says auto altitude, enter, enter the altitude. Okay, power. We'll just get to full power. 289, we'll increase the power. SK-737, climb and maintain 7,000. Okay, enter 7,000. Into the box. 7,000. Okay, speed 612. Continuing. Increase it. 6, 7, 7. Okay, it's past 716. We'll go to about um, make 17 to keep going a bit more. Right, we'll leave it there about 845. Turn these engines down just a bit more so you can uh, hear me because I'm just going to update you on a few things. Um, yeah, so it is a shame that FSX flight didn't turn out. That was in a 737 as well to Cardiff, but this is a sort of replacement flight. Um, I do want to talk about a short plane a bit, which is um, the co-pilot I use for Microsoft Flight Simulator because um, basically due to the failing health of the developer, it's no longer being sold, um, so you can't actually buy it. Luckily, I've already got mine. But um, hopefully in around a month it's going to be going free. So if that happens, it's a good opportunity to buy it while you can. Then all you have to get is the actual simulator, which you can buy for around 20 British pounds. Um, it's your plane actually used to be about 50 pounds. But you hopefully will be able to get it for free. I'll post and um, update you on one of my videos on here that um, it's gone free if it does. Um, so, hopefully it will. Because it is a good application which is compatible with all the default planes with FSX. And um, so all you'd have to get is, is FSX off Steam. Which is a bit inaccessible Steam, but it's not, it, is, it is doable anyway. Okay, let's have a look at our altitude. SK-737, you are leaving the A5 or 4 a Okay, we're at about 5,000 metres now, still going up for um, 7,000, which is 
probably going to be our cruise new frequency. Alright, enter that. 119.4. Out of clouds. Flying through clouds. Okay, in some clouds here. We'll turn the seatbelt signs off. Off. Yeah, this will probably be uh, quite a short video in the end because it's a Eurofly video and not just a flight, um, which is only about a 30 minute flight. Um, so I'll aim to do around one quite big stream a week. This week it's the Dassault Falcon to Portugal on Friday. Should be Friday evening. Uh, what well it'll be uh, evening my time. So we are 7, at 7,000, which is cruise. And it keeps announcing the places you're flying over, which is uh, quite helpful. Just heard it say Stoke on Trent, which is a place in England where we're flying Attention. over. You're entering the turbulence. This is another aircraft that's all right, the 737 on here. Nowhere near as realistic as FSX, of course, but it's Stanford one I've done quite a few short flights on if I've ever just wanted to have a quick Euro fly. It's very nice over in the UK today. It's hot, it's sunny, and uh, that is very unusual. So we're doing well. Shropshire. Right, I'm just going to check we're on course. On yep, we're ahead on a heading of about 280. Just, just off that. Cheshire's. With uh, with automa automatic navigation on. So that will keep us on course. Check what's in front of us with the letter J. 14 UK Wales, one minute. So we're heading into Wales in a minute. Cheshire, West and Chester. So if anyone's watching who is sighted, if you could post in the comments for me whether you can see video. Um, you won't actually be able to see the plane because like I say this doesn't have video. But if you could post whether you can see the word Eurofly. Uh, like a box, or you might even be just be able to see my uh, my desktop. I don't know, but if you could post in the comments and say you can actually see it, then I'll know video is working. And if you haven't already and you want to follow me on Twitter, um, I made an account for this, which I'll hopefully post on. You have entered a uh, oh, new airport. Squawk 2073. 
identification confirmed. Yeah, which I'll post on when I'm going to uh, be doing a new video or stream or something. Okay, we're in Wales. Um, so that's at B underscore flight simmer. At B underscore F L I G H T S I double S K seven thirty seven claim and maintain nine thousand five hundred. Okay, have to identify ourselves. Those two came at the same time. F two to identify ourselves. In the altitude box. Nine five zero zero. I have absolutely no idea where we are. Um, I am not familiar with the geography of Wales at all. But we are in Wales. SK-737, you are leaving the A space of our airport. We wish you a safe flight. What airport was that? No airport nearby. The closest is Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool airport. Kilometers. I have done this flight quite a lot, just... Um, like I say, when I wanted to have a, a quick go with the overfly. I'm quite familiar with the route. We usually do fly over Liverpool airport. And they give us um, an altitude change. There we go, we're at 9,500 there. See how much longer we've got. 208 kilometers, Dublin, 14 minutes. Okay, about 15 minutes or so, maybe a bit longer because we're going to have to slow down. Worried about that um, the flight on FSX I did, but it's, it just wasn't an uploadable quality. Um, the the, um, the co-pilot's voice on there was distorting a lot. Plus, you've got the engines on there, so that was distorting so much that it was just not 
I mean, you might have been able to understand what it was it was saying. And, but I figured that it was only an hour video, so we might as well just delete that and just do a quick one with this. I hear the passengers moving in the back, back there. We're dead. So we shouldn't have too far now. 156 kilometers, doubling 11 minutes. The weather's been quite good on this flight, actually we haven't had any bad weather. Partly clear windy northwestern. One hundred and fourteen kilometers per hour cloudless. Yeah, so it's cloudless and there's just a bit of a wind. But it's nice. Sometimes I do this route and you just hear constant thunder and all sorts. It's very uh, if it generates kind of bad weather on here, then it's bad. Attention, you're entering the turbulence. Irish Sea and St. George's Channel. Okay, so we're over the uh, Irish Sea now and St. George's Channel. Zero point zero zero oh, right, we're right Anglesey. back in Wales. But Anglesey. So yeah, be underscore flight sim on Twitter and if you need to email me um, if you're new to this and you really want help. Attention, you're um, entering the turbulence. Probably easy to email me. Set frequency. Set frequency. Set frequency. In 100 and 33.0. In 100 and 33.0. In 100 and 33.0. Turbulence and storm, so we will put seatbelts on. Flying through clouds. Uh, typical. I, I'm sure... I said it was it was good weather and now it's done it. Yeah, so if you really do need to email me, um, you can at uh, blindsimmer44 at gmail.com. Weather is getting quite bad. Your attention, you're entering the turbulence. Storm windy eastern, 114 kilometers per hour. You are in the clouds. It's just a storm, I think. The wind is not too bad. I receive St. Like George's there. Channel.
the, I should say this is the uh, 737800, or at least the specs of the 737800. Fuel check. 845. Wow, we're on fuel, 845. I suppose I did just take as much fuel as I don't need, and we haven't got that far to go. Um, this isn't a great situation in bad weather with not that much fuel, but we'll be alright, hopefully. I mean, I did take like, 100 kilometres um, range more fuel than we actually needed. 9,506. Okay, we're up for 9,500 still. Okay, is that the weather gone? Hopefully. 97 um, kilometres. 97 kilometers away. Oh, clouds. There we go, see off. And enjoy the rest of the flight. Off. We're having a good week anyway. It's uh, Wednesday when I'm recording this video. Should be uploaded on Wednesday. So midweek, getting towards the weekend. Yes. And I can't be sure this video isn't going to distort a bit either because I turned the boost down on the, um, the microphone and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're comfortable and happy with our services. We are now flying over the sea. The weather outside is very nice, so you can enjoy a nice view of the waters. Um, yeah, so if it does distort a bit, uh, I apologise and I will look back at this video and try and turn it down for the, the stream a bit more. But hopefully it's understandable. So right, we'll need to start descending soon. See how far we are. 66 kilometers okay. doubling four minutes. I'm going to descend. It won't it takes a bit more than four minutes because we still have to slow down. Energy Let's altitude. descend to about five thousand. Five thousand. Minus 15 because we are descending. Okay, we seriously need to get down and set the altitude to 1,000 now, and then we can keep descending past what I had it set to before. I may have to take over control and descend faster. It's only descend at minus 15. Flying through clouds. 
Hopefully this way we will descend a bit faster. Because we've got about 10 degrees more, 10 degrees more downward pitch than we had before. Flying through clouds. Okay, we'll put seatbelts on. Okay. There we go, we're now at 3,000, so that's better. Um, we'll have to slow it down as well. I'll do that in a bit. Clouds. Uh, distance, 20, okay. We'll get down, we'll be alright. Just a bit of a rushed approach. Just checking altitude, remember altitude, Z, speed, R, nose angle, T, the main keys, 3 euro fly. Okay, I'm just going to pull the nose up now because we are descending quite a lot. About minus nine. Minus nine. One thousand one hundred. There we are. We're pretty much okay. I'm just going to let us descend a bit more. Thirteen. I'm going to pull back on the throttle and just slow us down. Not fully, just a little bit. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Seven hundred. Right, that's slowing us down. I'm just going to push it. To about minus 20, minus 20 our nose angle, just so we can get down and then I can focus on speed. Okay, I'm just going to set it. You have entered the airspace of a new station. Set to one hundred and I'll get down to five. Welcome and continue range. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a bit. Okay, we're going to have on the throttle, which is N. Four hundred and sixty-nine slash two hundred and seventy-three. Yeah, that's about where we want it to be. Turn the engines up a little bit because they're going to get quieter now. Right. Three hundred and eighty-two slash two hundred and sixty-seven. Two hundred and sixty-seven. We wanted about two three six. Three hundred and twenty-two slash two hundred and forty-eight tail. Two four eight. Three hundred and eighty-three. Two hundred and sixty. Two hundred and fifty-six. Two hundred and forty-eight tail. Two hundred and thirty-nine tail. Two hundred and thirty-nine. Two hundred and thirty-six. That's good. Okay, we're 2.2 out. Remember, two kilometres away or more, you can request clearance to land. Right, let's try now. We are experiencing high traffic and do not have any available runway. Please stand by. FK737, the control tower. FK737, the control tower. Okay, they're not giving me clearance yet. Let's pull the flaps up for now. Please stand by. Okay, 737, you are clear to land. Right, there we go. Here are land. down, slowing us. There we go. Auto now. Off, because that's just trying to line us up again. Zero, one, two, zero. Okay, there. We've still got a bit of room to land. Minus 12. Uh, nose angle about minus 12. 76. Watch how to decrease. 60. 53. 46. 40. 34. 27. So altitude 20. 20 14, 7, okay, landing one. successful. Here we go. Landing successful. Pulling back on the throttle to slow us down. Okay. Slow to about 90. Let's check where we are with K on the runway. Minus 1,055. So we've got quite a bit of taxiing left to do here. Okay. Minus 500 and 
minus 572. So it's between 0 and 100 for the parking position. Minus 362. All the flaps up now, we don't need those either. All turn nav's already off. Minus 200. Minus 200. Minus Just getting ready to pull back minus off the Let's start slowing minus this down now. Here we go. Minus one. And 21, 21 so we can stop any time now. We'll be alright. 57, 57, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, There we go. And now we have the very loud um, stopping sound that I inserted where we hear the engines going off. Seatbelt signs off. Turn my engines off. Open. That's the rest of the stuff coming in off the wings, the slats and everything. Let's get the passengers off now. Control W. They are walking off the aircraft. Already shut down our engines, so. Very loud wind sounds. It's pretty much gone quiet, Zero. so there we go. And they are all gone. F4. About Eurofly. We'll take us back to the main menu. Exit. And we will exit. That was a successful flight. Very hectic approach. And um, that but we got down, and that's the most important thing. And uh, so yeah, sorry that was quite a short video. If it had been the FSX video, it would have been longer. But unfortunately, like I say, it just was too. Um, just, just not quality enough. So, Profile thanks for watching, list. and um, come back for the live stream on Friday with FSX and a flight to Portugal, hopefully. List exit, Stop global source. Stop recording. Split button. Sub menu.